Hello everybody, it's Dio from Firm But Fair Gaming bringing you another video. Hello everybody, welcome to this week's weekly challenge drift. Hope everybody is enjoying season 28. Just want to mention we have a few 150 videos out. If you're curious on a few builds, we have Raycords 150, the Necromancer Tragoodles 150, and we also have the Witch Doctor Corpse Spider Aractor, Aractor build as well. I probably pronounced that wrong. But anyways, so just wanted to mention that. But looking at this week's challenge number 303, we are a necromancer wearing the bones of Rathma. We only have the four piece bonus. So basically the main takeaway is that our minions reduce the army of dead cooldown and our minions no longer take damage and they give us some damage mitigation stacks. We have five pieces on but no ring of royal grander so we're getting no bonus there. We have the Jesseth Arms, so combination here, so main hand, off hand. So when the target or command skeleton dies, they automatically attack a nearby target, and uh, they also deal 400% more damage. We are also wearing two pieces of the Captain Crimson, which basically gives us 20% cooldown and resource cost reduction. Nothing terribly useful. For Legendary Gens, we are wearing Esoteric, so we're going to take physical damage. Are we gain 22.5% non-physical damage reduction, and then when we're below 50%, we get some extra resistances, and we also have Bane of the Trap, so some extra damage there as it is rank 25. Uh, in our queue, we got the Funerary Pick, so Siphon Blood drains from an extra target, and Fates Vow, Army of the Dead, deals more damage. Looking at our actual abilities, we have Blood Rush with Potency, so we're going to get some armor there as well as some movement. And our skeletons are just working away here. We have our command skeletons, so as soon as we tell them to attack, they're going to deal way more damage. We also have our Bono armor, which will proc our Crimsons, so you could use that for the stun. Then tell the skeletons to attack, and they'll deal even more damage. And then we have Revive, so that's going to give us some extra minions. Here is our Drain Life, our Blood Rush, rather, sorry, our Siphon Blood. And then lastly, we have Army of the Dead. So I'm just going to see what Army of the Dead. And yeah, just basically like that. And then we're going to do some revives. So we can have up to 10 extra minions. We're just going to be doing, probably doing stuns and then command skeletons and cycle into Army of the Dead as quick as possible. Should be a relatively one-shot build, but we'll see about the survivability. But without further ado, let's jump into it. I'm going to move my abilities around a little bit just because i don't like the way they are but i'll do that and then we'll jump into it all right move our buttons around and let's go so get our army of the dead out here get some things dead and get our minions up and we are off commander skeleton stun get our skeletons to do some more army of the dead everything dies and we're manually going to have to pick up our orbs here. Getting a little bit spoiled based on uh, the seasonal affects. Is there anything down here? Nope, just a lot of waste of time. Okay. Basically going to just be using Army of the Dead whenever it's off cooldown to quickly destroy everything. So we're going to stun this and then use Army. And there we go. And that's basically all there is to this. We already have our minions out. As you can see, it is pretty quick with the refresh. I know we do have the channeling pile on there, but even so, it'll be pretty good. Looking for some elites. Here we go. Some blues. Get that stun off. Tell the skeletons to go attack this guy. It's back up again. Get another one. Uh, what are we? Oh, we got a minute lead that was not what i meant to do there use the army but it's fine it's probably going to be back by the time we come across anything command the skeletons again pull them up command them again waiting for them to deal some damage get the army back up again get our essence back Okay, keep moving along here. It'd be nice if we could get some more elites, but nothing yet. Just not, no real density. 
Okay, on to the next one. Lost a little bit of our lead there, just because it is kind of craptacular. Okay, here we go. There we go. Blow it up. Get our essence back so we can command our skeletons again. We're going to finish it off. Perfect. Get that. Get a stun out. Unfortunately, he was shielded right there. As a so I would, if you get to this part, wait. Oh wow, just blew him up like crazy there. I'd wait until the shield's off and then pop your army, just to, you know, actually hurt him. <laughs> just waiting for the army to come back up. Pop that yet again. Flying through it now. Obviously, Condi is making this easy work for us. So it's nice considering the second map was complete garbage. Nothing really up there to get. Just thought I'd check out. So now you guys know not to bother going up there. It'd be nice if we ran into a couple more leads, but. Nothing here. Just some regular mobs. Two minutes ahead almost. Keep going. Got some elites here, try and get our... Okay, well they died. Oh, no. There we go. Connie's over, but we'll just finish this guy off with the skeletons, and then hopefully we can run into another elite. There we go. Army of the Dead. Oh, we didn't get him because he was up on top. That's okay. Get some more siphon action going. Another army. Pretty much there. Saving the army for when the Rift Guardian spawns here. Oh, it did spawn away from us. Probably just going to stun and army. Oh, and we did get it. Perfect. Oh, we missed an orb. Did pretty easy there. You know, not the fastest time, but that's weren't really going for that. So I was only using the Second Blood to keep up the Essence. Otherwise, I was just using Bone Armor with the Dislocation to stand right before Army to proc the Crispin's effect, commanding the Skeletons onto larger groups or to help get the Army back off cooldown. Potion, we don't get any special buff from using it, so I was just using it if I was low. And basically, I got my 10... Uh, followers up like from the revive army and didn't really bother casting that again you could if you wanted to if you thought we you killed a half decent mob you could uh, res it to have it in your army but really we're just trying to get them to attack to reduce the cooldown so we just spam the army uh, map 2 really sucked but once we got that condi we were absolutely flying so anyways that brings us to the end of the video if you have any questions or comments please let me know below do my best to answer them if you have any questions about any builds that you are currently working on let me know i played a lot of them i might be able to help you out so anyways that's it for me as always we appreciate any like shares and subscribe so please click those buttons and of course until next time i hope you're enjoying diablo 3 season 28